Malsia. The first incarnation of God, according to the Indian mythology, in Sanskrit means that which is frolicking in water. Indian sea waters is abundant with fish resources. Spanning a total area of 2.02 million square kilometers, our exclusive economic zone is about one third of the total land mass. Providing nutritional security to the millions and earning valuable foreign exchange to the tune of rupees 8,000 crores a year. Marine fisheries play a vital role in our economy. Fish in the sea is a natural resource which is not inexhaustible. Any advance in the harvesting technology we make doesn't guarantee an ever-increasing yield of sea fish despite the increase in demand for it. So, the question is, how to ensure that our harvest from the seas are sustainable economically and ecologically? Or, in simple terms, how to ensure that we are leaving so much fish in the seas that we can catch enough fish tomorrow? It is this challenge that Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute CMFRI undertakes, harnessing science and technology for enabling the government to manage a natural resource which is fugitive and invisible under our fishermen. Three million of them, risking their lives under surging waves of oceanic water, bring it ashore in about 3,000 landing centers. This is what makes CMFRI one of the ICAR institutes in the country, unique. A team of about 200 scientists, supported by 400 staff members, are devoted to act as a sentinel of India's marine fisheries by monitoring and assessing the health of its fish stocks through multidisciplinary research activities coordinated under 10 research divisions. We address the challenge of sustainability on two-pronged approach. One is to get an idea in as certain terms as possible on what is known as the maximum sustainable yield possible from our fish stocks. Based on this information, we advise the government. The second approach is to augment the production of marine fisheries resources through Mari culture, which is developing technologies to culture marine fishes either in shore-based hatcheries or growing them in the open sea itself. Established in 1947, CMFRI is the oldest fisheries research institute under ICAR. Headquartered now at Kuchi in Kerala, CMFRI has a countrywide network of research centers and establishments covering the more than 8,000 kilometers of India's coast length. Its regional research centers are located at Veraval in Gujarat, Vishakapatnam in Andhra Pradesh, and Mandamal in Tamil Nadu. There are seven research centers which are located at Mumbai in Maharashtra, Karwar and Mangalore in Karnataka, Kohikode and Virinam in Kerala, Chennai and Tutukudi in Tamil Nadu. Stock assessment, which is the major mandated responsibility of the institute, is a complex task. It is a marriage of biology and mathematics. How much fish is landed in a year is the basis for this estimation. CMFRI has developed a unique data collection protocol for this. No country in the Southeast Asian region can claim to have such a systematic information collection system. 
The role of the regional research centers in coordinating this data collection is very vital. This data, along with various biological parameters of different fish stocks, is utilized through complex mathematical models to arrive at optimum or sustainable levels of harvest. Fisheries management is a state subject. The role of CMFRI is to advise the state on management strategies like seasonal closure, mesh size regulations, marine protected areas, optimum fleet size, etc. Though the linkage of the institute with the fisher folk is indirect, they are being engaged through various interface activities. The institute is engaged in developing policy briefs on marine fisheries management for all the maritime states. The brief for the state of Kerala was released last year. The institute has done pioneering work in responsible fisheries extension in the country. The communication tools they have developed, including animation films, are being used to bring awareness on resource conservation. Oceanic ecosystem as a production system offers tremendous opportunities to India. CMFRI has made significant strides in this direction through mariculture research. The case of mussel farming technology is exemplary. Through the technology developed by CMFRI, the production of mussels has reached nearly 20,000 tons from what was nil in the year 1992. The coastal women have found this technology as a convenient empowerment tool. The recent breakthrough achieved by scientists of CMFRI by developing green muscle extract, which is a nutraceutical of high demand, has opened new vistas for muscle farmers. Farming the seas is a fascinating idea. With increasing pressure on land-based production systems in meeting the food demand for a teeming millions, this attains special significance. Developed countries have gone ahead in this area, but with the technological success reaped by CMFRI in open sea cage culture, we have built indigenous capacity in culturing high value fish in open sea. The open sea cage culture, first demonstrated in Vishakhapatnam in 2007, has now been successfully replicated in 10 other locations. The techno-economic studies so far conducted reveal very high promise for the technology. Lack of availability of hatchery produced seeds is a major constraint in profitable open sea cage farming. The recent breakthrough achieved by CMFRI scientists in development of larval production of cobia is remarkable in this context. CMFRI has successfully developed and transferred a number of mariculture technologies for the benefit of the coastal community. Marine ornamental fish breeding is an area where CMFRI has put its imprint recently. Scientists here have developed hatchery technologies for more than 10 marine ornamental species which are of a very high demand in the global trade for marine ornamental fishes. Fields play a very vital role in marine ornamental culture. Farmers have to spend a large amount on imported feeds. But using the feed which the institute have recently developed, the cost of production can be reduced substantially. Both the technologies have been successfully transferred to farmers. To promote research in mariculture, CMFRI has recently established a state-of-the-art marine hatchery complex at Mandabam. Advances in biotechnology and biochemistry are essential accompaniments for mariculture research. CMFRI has full-fledged facilities for undertaking such frontline research. The Institute takes care to preserve the biodiversity of our seas. The Marine Museum has 1,560 specimens and is designated as National Repository 
by Government of India in consultation with the National Biodiversity Authority under the Biological Diversity Act 2002. It is frequented by marine biology researchers from all over the country. The Marine Aquarium, maintained at the Research Centre of Virinam, attracts researchers as well as a large number of tourists. The library of the institute is fully digitalized. The scientific output of the institute is enormous. The research publications number about 5,000, including international and national journals. CMFRI publishes three in-house journals, namely Indian Journal of Fisheries, Marine Fisheries Information Service and Kadalmeen, the newsletter. The latter two are also published in Hindi. A series of special research publications by scientists have crossed a hundred. CMFRI is the agency identified by the DAHDF to conduct National Marine Fishery Census every five years. The Institute has generated more than rupees 4 crores till 2010 through various research consultancies. The scientists maintain an organic linkage with the marine fishery stakeholders through various interface activities mainly coordinated by the Krishi Vignyan Kendra and Agriculture Technology Information Center. With a powerful vision and commensurate commitment to science and society, the saga of CMF RI continues searching new horizons, new challenges and new solutions. <laughs>